This is the SIG P365X Macro. Uh, came out in 2022, took the market by storm because of how thin it was, easy to carry in the capacity, 17 plus one capabilities. And now 2024, SIG has introduced the all new SIG P365 AXG Legion. So let's go check out the difference between the two models and see how they do. First up, we have the SIG P365X Macro. I absolutely love this gun, shoots like a dream. Uh, let's give it a try here. Shoots really nice, shoots more like a full-size gun because of this two-port compensator on there. That's a game changer. A lot of people do not like it, but I think the majority of people do just because of how easy it is to shoot such a smaller pistol that would typically be a little bit more snappy. Now, some people say they don't feel any difference. I personally feel quite a bit of difference, and I really enjoy having the compensator on there. So this has the just the polymer frame. Feels really good. Nice cutouts. I mean, if, you, if you've seen any 365 grip, they're all fairly similar. This one's just a little bit longer because now they offer... 17 plus one capability in the macro, or you can also use this mag in any of the 365 family, but really nice trigger on it. Um, these triggers are probably a right around, just under about four, four pounds, right around there. I've tried to do a trigger gauge on it. It says two and a half. It's definitely not two and a half, but a uh, really nice take up, just stops right there. And perfect break and reset. A little bit longer of a reset, but really good and just right back at it right there. Features a red dot capable slide, directly mounted to the slide, which is nice, I like that. Also um, has good serrations on the front and back for racking it. Decent uh, uh, slide release right there. Also a good position for me. For the mag release, I can release that mag without manipulating my hand anyway at all. All right, now let's check out the SIG P365 AXG Legion and see the difference. All right guys, now we have the SIG P365 AXG Legion. Biggest difference is the metal frame on it has a metal frame versus the polymer frame on the x macro so and then their mags have a cool legion symbol on the bottom of them uh the bottom of them which looks really awesome let's shoot it see how well it performs compared to that macro <laughs> so biggest difference as you can tell there this is the metal frame so um, really awesome. This comes from SIG. It has G10 grips. You can switch these out if you don't like their style of grips. This is replaceable with a grip of your choice that's from the G10 series. So really cool. Also features a flared magwell on the side. A little bit more of an extended slide release right there. So uh, just, a, just a hair more. I like that. It just gives you a little bit more leverage to, to rack that slide in. And then this is removable. So if you don't like that beveled magwell or you don't like it for carrying, you can remove it really easily. So um, yeah, biggest difference is cost. So this comes in at $1,200. So if you have an X macro already, in my opinion, it's probably not worth the upgrade, but if you don't, or if you just like the Legion series from SIG, because SIG always uh, kind of decks out their models eventually and they do the Legion series. This is their Legion series for the 365. So really nice. I actually really like those uh, serrations on the back of the grip they really sink into your hand also on the front of the grip here underneath the trigger guard and then on the front where you would put that forward thumb when you're shooting um, but yeah uh, nice features from sig i'm glad they came out with this model just another uh just another nice series um, of 365s that someone's going to want to buy i really love it i absolutely love shooting it it feels better to shoot just because of the extra grip uh weight that weight in there feels awesome. Um, just gives you a little bit less recoil even than the 365X Macro. Let's throw another magnet and do some uh, single-handed shooting and see if we can make a jam. All right, let's try a little one-handed shooting, see if we can make it kind of give it a malfunction. <laughs> you know, I've never had any problems with 365s jamming for me personally, ever. So let's shoot it fast, see if it likes to go fast. <laughs> it also likes to run really fast. Uh, doesn't have much recoil at all. I can't even feel recoil in it. Um, it. It is a nine millimeter and some people won't feel it at all, especially if you're an experienced shooter 
it's not gonna feel like much, but if you're kind of new, nine millimeter does feel like it has recoil, but this metal frame just feels so good in the hand. Yeah, let's try out that SIG P365X macro and feel that difference there. All right, now we have the X macro. Let's see how it feels in the hand, one-handed. See a little, kind of loose hole. You can definitely feel more recoil in that. Harder for a follow-up shot for shooting one-handed. Shoots really good still. Definitely flips a little bit more having less weight uh, in the grip, but feels awesome. I love this. I really love the X macro. It feels so good. Um, I kind of wish they would have made it 16 rounds and flushed it up to the bottom of the grip because that does print a little bit if you're doing concealed carry, um, but not a huge deal, but it does. It would be nice if it was just 16 rounds right up to there. They could have outdone the Hellcat Pro and just made it one more, but it stinks. They had to do two more. Let's shoot it some more here. <laughs> Both shoot really well. Um, worth the extra cost? Probably not if you already have the X Macro, unless you're uh, a collector like a lot of people out there and you just want all the 365s. Yeah, get the get the XG Legion because that thing is absolutely awesome. Also, you can switch these grips out. So I think it's Icarus uh, makes a cool uh, metal frame now for this. Uh, it looks pretty, pretty neat. You can check that out online yourself, but um, yeah, so you could actually switch out this grip that you currently have because this is not considered the firearm. There's just a little inset that sits into that grip that is considered the firearm. So you could switch this out to a metal or uh, any other type of grip that you would want um, for a little bit less than what you would pay for buying a brand new AXG Legion. Now, do I love the AXG Legion? Absolutely. It's awesome. I love the grips. I love the whole feeling about the AXG Legion. But this macro is still an awesome gun. And if you don't like the way uh, the porting is on there, you can get the uh, macro tack ops and that will delete that porting and then have a little bit longer barrel on there. All right, guys, both awesome guns. I really love this series. I just love the 365 series. They've never let me down. I have thousands of rounds through all my 365s. I think I have... Um, I, through the X macro, I believe I have probably around four or 5,000 rounds through it. No issues, no malfunctions. And then now that they introduced this AXG Legion, I really love the metal frame. I love that it's a little bit wider. I like those G10 grips that can be switched out. Um, is it worth the extra cost? If you if you haven't, if you don't have one of these, you're thinking about getting one of these, yeah, maybe it's worth the extra cost. Uh, you can switch out this grip in this AXG macro to a metal grip, I think. Icarus is a company out there that makes something like that. So I think that's around $300. So it'd be about $1,100 to get this with that extra grip. This is $1,200 with that metal frame. I really enjoy the metal frame. Doesn't feel much difference for carry. It doesn't flop back in my belt or anything when I'm carrying it. And then it shoots so much nicer. Having that little bit of extra weight on the frame really helps reduce felt recoil and actual recoil. Um, but both are excellent guns. You really can't go wrong with either one. Um, yeah, guys, I love these things. SIG makes great products, and they are a little bit more expensive, but they, they last a long time, and they're very easy to maintain. I hope you enjoyed this video on the SIG P365X Macro versus the brand new SIG P365AXG Legion. I love you guys. Stay safe. Keep on shooting. Have a great day.